the U.S. Department of Agriculture just launched a brand new tool to help you find foods that fit your kidney diet. I'm going to tell you all about it and even show you how to use it coming right up. Hello, kidney warriors. James here, your favorite online kidney health coach. And have I got something awesome to share today. But before we get to that, make sure if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV. And don't forget, click the little bell icon. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload another great video. Now, let's get on to today's topic. Finding the right foods that fit your kidney diet is a pain in the butt, let alone your kidney diet. Make it any diet, whether you got high blood pressure, diabetes, or you're just trying to lose weight. You can look on the back, read the labels, but things like phosphorus, potassium are rarely, if ever, listed on the label. So we're down to reading ingredients and trying to figure it out that way. Now there's, there's an app that I recommend um, chronometer.com, which can help you, but the interface is a little trick and you pretty much got to add the food, say I ate it and then look back and see what does it contain. It's a bit of a, a pain if you're just doing research. It's great for tracking what you've already eaten or drank. So it's good for that, but it's just hard to plan things out. And if you're thinking about going out to eat somewhere, it doesn't work for planning ahead. Well, this new database that the U.S. Department of Agriculture just launched helps with all that. So let's give you a little bit of history real quick. So the government has tons of different databases and they weren't connected. They weren't really shared. They weren't updated at the same time. This one would get updated this year. This one in five years. This one hadn't been updated in six years. It just was really difficult. And some databases were used by researchers to get nutritional information about foods. Others were used by dietitians. It was just so much duplicate and wasteful and uh, missing information. It may be in that database, but it's not the one that you're using. So they put together a project to consolidate all these different sources of data into one easy to use and very transparent database. It was supposed to launch in January of 2019. But due to the government shutdown, that got pushed back. Great news. It's now April 2019, and it has been live for about two weeks now. I've been using it. I've been using the old systems also, and the new one is just fantastic. It makes it very easy to search for food. So pretty much any food or beverage available in the United States, and this is an international database because a lot of brands sell their products here in the US, you'll find in this database and you're gonna find extremely detailed information. How much vitamin B12 is in a uh, Wendy's chicken nugget? It tells you. How much potassium? How much calcium? How much phosphorus? How much protein? All that sodium, everything you wanna know, it's all in this database. And it's completely free, it's easy to use. And it also works on your mobile device. So let me walk you through how to use it, you know, physically, how to navigate it and find things and what to do with this information. So as a matter of fact, I wasn't planning on this. Let's use the example I just said, a, a, a Wendy's chicken nugget. Let's say, you know, I'm, I've got some friends and they say, hey, let's go out to, to Wendy's to get some. Maybe I'm on a road trip and they want to stop at Wendy's for a really quick lunch. What the heck can I eat? I'm, you know, I've got kidney disease. I've got to be really careful. Let's use this free tool to search some chicken nuggets and see if they can fit inside of my kidney diet. Um, I don't know. Let's find out. All right, here we are at dadvicetv.com. Should look familiar to everyone. And we're going to go under kidney diet. 
and Nutrition Lookup Food Data Central. And Food Data Central is the name that the government gave their database. Here's the page, gonna go ahead and scroll down, and here's the link, go to Food Data Central. Now, right now, we are on the government's website, and you definitely wanna make sure, bookmark this page on your mobile device so you can bring this up at any time. And as I mentioned, this is a brand new database. It just launched combining multiple different sources and they're still rolling it out, but it is there and you can start using it today to find stuff. So let's use that example that we talked about. We're gonna look at Wendy's chicken nuggets. And right there they are, Wendy's chicken nuggets. Let me zoom this in, make it a little bit bigger and easier to read. And we can pick the size we want. We want a five piece. And here is our data. We got the amount of water, calories, 222 calories in a five piece. We got a little bit of protein, 11.2 grams. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Uh, we got all our sugar, iron, Magnesium, a great thing to add to your diet. Make sure you're getting plenty of magnesium. And look at this, here's what we're looking for. 184 milligrams of phosphorus and 170 milligrams of potassium. And ooh, ouch, the sodium is a bit high. 480 milligrams of sodium. Now most people with a kidney diet are restricted to 1,500 or 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day. If you're not restricted, you're probably shooting for 2,300 milligrams of sodium. And, and on average, that works out to a, about five to 700 milligrams per meal. Now you can you know, eat a low sodium breakfast and use those saved up sodium amounts for lunch, but, uh, 481, not too bad. This is just the nuggets with no sauce. So could this fit into my kidney diet? Yeah, I could make it fit. The phosphorus and potassium definitely look fantastic. The sodium, I got to keep an eye out. So if I pick a sauce, I want to pick one that has low sodium, or maybe you're like me, you just don't eat them with sauce. I love them just plain when I do eat them. And maybe add a side salad with no croutons, no tomatoes, and no cheese. Use a vinaigrette type dressing. Look at the sodium on it so we don't go over our allotment for that meal. Maybe even try some vinegar and oil or even just some lemon. Ask for some fresh lemons. They'll slice them up for you there at Wendy's and give them to you and squeeze the lemon juice onto your salad and it, you know, it tastes great. You add a cup of water and there you go. We're stopping at Wendy's with my friends while we're on the road. I'm having the nuggets, a side salad without the crouton cheese or tomatoes, maybe some lemon for the dressing or a, a light vinaigrette that they have and a cup of water and there I am under my meal sodium allotment. Definitely not hurting on the potassium or the phosphorus. And that's just one example of how you could use this database. Let me show you one more great example that I really like. So we all know we need to eat apples, all right? And my favorite apples are Fuji. Let's take a look for Fuji apples. There they are. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go into this one because I know this is Got all the data, the raw with the skin, and I usually get those medium ones, and I get them organic, which is a great thing to do. And here we go, I got my calories. Again, all that information, great to learn. And actually, um, you know, here's my phosphorus, really low in potassium and sodium. I didn't show you on those nuggets, but you keep scrolling, it's all in here, look at this. More and more. Now this one, for example, doesn't list B12. There's no B12 in it. Other ones, they have B12, they'll list that. But here's what I like to do. So here we have, we got our sodium. There's practically none in these apples. I only got 200 milligram of potassium, 25 milligrams of phosphorus. I'm gonna grab a screenshot of that right there. Now let's come back 
and we're gonna go back to search and I'm gonna change this to gala apples my son's favorite kind of apple here we go let's pick that I got picked same size so I could do a side-by-side -side comparison and let's scroll down there's my you know calories and let's get to where we had that potassium there we go and sodium now I'm gonna grab that screenshot that I just took and line it up close to this one so that I can kind of do an even comparison look at this the Fuji apple my preferred one has I 25 milligrams of phosphorus while that's still low that's what 20 percent more phosphorus than the gala apples potassium again about 20 percent more sodium not pretty much neck and neck so if i'm really really trying to pick what are exactly the best foods maybe i really have a challenge with phosphorus this tool can even help you pick which fruits which vegetables you know from the different varieties that you'll find at your grocery store work best inside of your diet and i just want to make sure it's clear to everyone not all foods are in here yet they're still rolling this all out but it's getting better and better every week and it's only been out for a little over two weeks they're going to keep getting more and more stuff into this and third-party apps can now access this data for free so we should start seeing a lot more of those food tracking apps now showing phosphorus potassium calcium uh, the sodium and even magnesium that's a good one to have more of in your kidney diet magnesium is a great element to help your kidneys and help your overall health so wow what do you think let me know in the comments do you think this tool is useful I think I'm gonna see a lot of thumbs up and a lot of yeah this is a great tool again it is completely free and it works on your mobile devices so you can access this data anywhere use it to plan meals use it to make decisions on what's the best thing for you to eat use it to figure out how you can eat out now we went through an example of eating out at fast food i do not recommend eating out at fast food very often Look at it as an occasional treat for yourself. It is possible. Um, I've actually been through tons and tons of the popular fast food chains, going through everything they have and then reviewing it again with a dietitian. Those videos will be coming up on what you can eat at each of the popular fast food chains. But you can use this database to figure out if you're gonna go to Popeye's Chicken, what can you eat? Well, you're gonna find out by using this database. You can have one wing, one leg, take the skin off, and uh, some coleslaw, maybe some corn, and drink water. And all of a sudden, you have an occasional, not very often, but an occasional fast food lunch or a little you know, dinner. I don't want to say snack, but it's, you know, it's going to consume a lot of sodium. we got to watch out for that. Uh, but yeah, this makes it easy to find places you can go out to so you're not cooking every single meal you're not relying on the same exact ingredients and experience you can be more social and that's going to help you both mentally and emotionally as you fight and beat kidney disease isn't that just great it's fantastic going out with friends and you know planning it beforehand you just get there and you know exactly what to order that can fit your diet now as always you can find this and so much more information on my website, dadvicetv.com. I encourage you to bookmark it and check back often. I'm going to again remind you, if you haven't done so already, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to build up my list of subscribers so that I can get more doctors to take me even more serious and give me their time do video interviews, do some, some uh, webinars possibly for us to share more information, all at no cost. You know, it's, it, it costs us so much money, even with insurance, to get time with a, a nephrologist, and you may not have a great one. Well, I am trying to find all the best ones and bring them here in video to YouTube 
so that you, I, and everyone else can benefit from them. Speaking of benefiting, don't forget to share this video with anyone you think may you know, benefit from it. Now, today's topic was really about how to use this new database to help you with your kidney diet. It works with any diet, whether you're losing weight, you're diabetic, you got high blood pressure, you're watching sodium, doesn't matter. This information is available free, it's transparent, and the database is just gonna keep getting better and better and better. It just launched in the beginning of April 2019, and they still have so many more things to add to it, and then they're gonna go through and keep updating the data, keeping it current. And finally, join me, be part of the conversation on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash dadvicetv. I love to you know, chat with you, share opinions, hear about your success, or do you have struggles? Let me know what they are. Put them in the comments or go on to Facebook and send me a message. And if I see patterns there, you know, and things that I can help with, I'll create more content. I'll create a video specific for what you're asking for to help you fight kidney disease and beat it because you can do it. You know, don't give up. If your doctor didn't give you the hope and the inspiration, I'm giving it to you. You can live with it. You can beat kidney disease with the right lifestyle, the right diet, and using your medication to manage whatever caused it. You know, that's the first thing. Let's stop the damage. But using diet, you know, exercise, light exercise, you can beat kidney disease just like I'm doing and get stronger and stronger every day. All right, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.